understands what I'm doing right now, I feel like. I've been working so hard for this body and my birthday coming up, what normally comes with birthdays is eating a bunch of shit. And so I was stressed about eating stuff that I haven't eaten in in months, whatever. I actually did have a mental breakdown because I, I don't want to ruin what I have. And that was the problem. I saw calories as a game and the only way I could win was if I barely ate. Every time that I thought that I went over my calorie goal and ate too much, I would force myself to run. tracked every calorie possible and I've accounted for more even though there isn't more I just completed a workout I made a smoothie I oddly felt guilty for eating that even though it was literally just yogurt on milk and ice so I did my workout and then I um, <clears throat> I don't even like want to say it even though it's just to the camera but I threw up everything I could only restrict myself for so long. I'd always reach my breaking point and binge on food. It was the only thing that would turn off my mind and make all my negative emotions disappear. As I circled around the kitchen and time ticked away, food wrappers piled up on the floor in front of me. When I finally came to my senses, I had eaten so much I couldn't physically swallow another bite. I was so embarrassed by my actions, the only option I had was to bottle everything up. just a lot I'm holding in all the time and I bottle it up and I don't tell anyone I feel like I'm constantly battling myself and I want to be happy but I fucking can't I do a week of, of not binging on fucking food and throwing it up and then I fucking fall into the same thing the next week I just feel like I'm a failure to myself because I can't, I can't just stick to something anymore. Whenever I was done binging, the same feeling of guilt towered over me. Every week became the same. I'd repeat the same process of restricting food, then binge eating. I was always thinking about food and I slowly lost myself in this cycle. I came to the realization that things needed to change. I needed to break the loop. One step that I took was to stop labeling foods as good or bad. The foods I labeled bad were the ones that I would avoid during my restricting, but these were always the ones I went for during my binges. By taking these labels away, I allowed myself to eat what I wanted guilt-free. I stopped tracking my calories and completely ignored nutrition labels. I started to accept my struggles I had with food. I recognize that I use food to cope with negative emotions such as stress or anger. Whenever I felt the urge to binge, I'd listen to music or set up a camera and talk about how I'm feeling until the thought of eating went away. Another step I took was transferring schools. I isolated myself so much and created such a negative environment at Framingham State, I knew I needed a fresh start. So I started looking at schools and I found Bridgewater. I started to find myself again, and slowly I could feel the weight being lifted off of my shoulders. Oh my god, I did it. Things might look a little bit different, and they sure do feel different. Today is Monday, August 29th, 2022, and we, my friends, 
we are at Bridgewater State University. I am so happy that I transferred. Transferring was the best move I've made. Not only are we at Bridgewater State University, but guess who is not a student athlete anymore? I think I lost my love for field hockey, which is okay. And I got upset about that and upset with myself that I didn't like field hockey anymore. It wasn't giving me happiness. And I think one thing I have learned, if something's not making you happy, then just don't do it. No matter how hard I tried to love the sport again, I couldn't. And I felt this way before. And I just didn't want to relive the past. I hope I could keep this up. And I think I will because I'm in the right environment now. There are times, however, where I feel the waves of negative thoughts come back. Sometimes it feels like they're trying to take control again. But instead of bottling them up, I know what to do with them now. Throughout all these years of finding myself, I can now proudly say that I no longer carry the weight of numbers. 